Hello there, my Scorpio Collective. I hope you're having a fantastic day. What is up with you, Scorpio? Scorpio, you're gonna be popular. Oh, Scorpio, some of y'all watching the movie Wicked. Oh, that's some beautiful energy. Uh, Scorpio, my creative, stay creative. Nine energy, the activated ally. So there you go. You got hermit energy. 17, I am galactic star seed blooming. 17, the star energy to one. Three, two, one, jump. Ooh, there's some beautiful energy around you. Uh, Scorpio, those of you that follow your astrology. Astrology, astronomy. Ooh. Damn. Good energy coming your way. Uh, Scorpio, for some of you, if it's been a while since you've dated, it's been a while since you've sort of uh, uh, gotten your feet wet, so to speak, that could sort of be your energy too. Some of you could be wanting to date. Some of you could be getting opportunities to date. There's like this uh, loving energy with you. I don't feel like you like your feet wet. So some of you could be like a, a cactus, right? You don't like wet feet. So you're not going to stay stuck or stagnant in relationships or partnerships that really don't have a flow to it. You know what I mean? Damn, I don't, you're not going to be overwhelmed. That's for damn sure. No soggy bottom energy either. <laughs> oh my goodness, Scorpio. That's some fucking energy. Ten of Pentacles with the Page of Swords. Crowning that, you got the Queen of Swords. You got the Four of Wands. You got the Two of Cups. Oh my God, and the Queen of Cups. So, Scorpios, yes. Oh my goodness. If someone tried to get you in some sort of stuck, stagnant, emotional relationship or partnership, like a Seven of Cups energy, uh-uh. Uh, you got out of that really super quick. Uh, there's not a whole lot of emotional energy. You're not, you're not one of them Scorpios that gets overwhelmed. Uh, if something gets a little too emotionally, uh, demanding of you or emotionally deep, yeah, the mind games don't work with you. Love games don't work with you either. You prefer to stay on the beach. So you're not really one that wants to get your feet wet. Some of you are definitely dealing with someone or could have been dealing with someone that was all about that sort of emotional fuckery energy. Let's just say it with this Queen of Swords energy, right? Uh, that didn't really work with you. So you're not all up in your feelings. You're not all up in your emotions. You, you're good. You're good. Damn Scorpio, right? There's the Gemini energy. There's the Six of Wands. There's the Hierophant. And there's that four cups. Damn Scorpios. Some of you, you're not about relationships or partnerships. So whatever energy you're in, you're like good. If you're in a relationship or partnership, you're good. If you're single, you have you have some higher expectations for yourself. There's like no no fuckery energy when it comes to your emotions. You're not going to get played either. So, damn, Scorpio. If someone thought they were going to uh, strum your little heartstrings and play a little song, uh-uh. You're like, that shit don't work. <laughs> what is going on with you, Scorpios? What's over this Queen of Cups energy? Page of Wands with the Ten of Wands. Damn. Someone put a little too much time, energy, and effort towards this sort of energy with you that it's like warned someone the fuck out. I feel like you're a Scorpio that's really not emotionally moved. So, you know, uh, if someone wants to go, you'll hold the door open for them, right? It's, it's not like any sort of energy where you're going to stay stuck or stagnant. Some of you don't like wet feet, so you could not even be interested in a relationship or partnership, Scorpio. Some of you could already be in a really good relationship or partnership. So your sort of emotional needs are met. But I don't feel like you're over an overly emotional Scorpio. 
So you know what I mean? You don't need a whole lot. And you definitely don't like wet feet. Knight of Pentacles. Strength card. Chariot energy. With the Six of Pentacles. Covering that is this Ace of Wands. My oh my. My oh my Scorpio. I almost feel like you're able to sort of win this race because you can hold your breath the longest. My oh my. Scorpio, Scorpio, Scorpio. Scorpio, you could be someone that maybe you like boats, but you're not particularly fond of getting wet. You know what I mean? You can like the water, but you like it from a distance. Some of you, when it comes to your relationships and partnerships, you're that way. You could have love. You could have all these feelings and emotions, but there's not going to be no tears type energy with you, right? Uh, games don't really work with you. You know what I mean? Someone wants to go, you hold the fucking door open, right? Uh, you're good. Uh, this energy with you, something didn't fucking work. Someone does not like to get wet, but you love the water. <laughs> so, you know what I mean? Uh, I don't feel like you're someone that's going to catch feels, uh, <laughs> Scorpio. <clears throat> Especially if that's not really what you're interested. With that sort of starseed blooming energy. You're like a cactus, right? You don't need a whole lot. Damn, I was good on my own. That's the way it was. That's the way it was. Damn, someone thought they were just going to overwhelm you with this sort of emotional energy. Probably saying love and all this stuff. And you're like, mm, uh-uh, that's not my thing. Knight of Cups with the Two of Pentacles. Yeah, you could like the water, but you you stay on the beach. You don't really get wet. Choices and options here. Yeah, there you are. Some of you really don't like to get wet. Because that Herman energy is like, you know, Jesus walking on the water. You will do anything but get into the fucking water. <laughs> Eight of Pentacles. Work, love, life energy with this. Yeah, you're definitely attracting a lot of attention. But there's this sort of five of wands energy around you. My goodness. My goodness. So you look good. You feel good. You're showing up good. You're garnering a lot of attention, but you're, like, good on your own. Whether you're with somebody or you're single, you, like, uh... Scorpio, someone could think you're kind of a little too uh, into yourself. You know what I mean? You definitely have healthy boundaries in place. You definitely have healthy boundaries in place. Yeah, I feel like you avoid a situation because the, the energy doesn't work. Um, <laughs> it, it kind of is that energy. Someone's trying to make you feel something. But uh, you're like, what? That That's not me. That, that's not me. That's not what I'm about. Right? It's a, it's, it is kind of a negative energy here, Sagittarius. Right? Or Scorpio. Damn, some of y'all temperance angel. Yeah, you're like, uh, it's an unfazed energy with you. It's an unfazed energy with you. There's there's not a whole lot of emotional uh, sort of attachment with you. I mean, how do you, it's like someone that loves the water, but they never get in it. But they could spend all the time, uh, you know, sitting on the beach or being on a boat. But they're not getting in the fuck of water, right? So it's like, uh-uh. You're like, I don't know what's in that shit, right? Some of you, that could be sort of your emotions. You're very grounded and focused. You feel what you feel, and that's it. You definitely have healthy boundaries in place here. Some people might think you're a little too sort of into yourself, but that sort of works for you. So I don't feel like this is a Scorpio that's all sort of uh, emotional, You like the water, but you don't like to get your feet wet. Damn, Scorpio. So, make smart choices. If this is your energy, Scorpio, you're like, someone wants to go, you'll hold the fucking door open, right? It's like, emotionally, this is unfazing you. Someone has put a lot of time, energy, and effort into it to sort of get your attention, to sort of get you to feel something. But you're like, 
that's that's not me. That's not me. Some of you definitely have healthy boundaries when it comes to relationships or partnerships. Right? Damn, look at you go, Scorpio. So many people want your energy, your attention. But here you are just sort of doing your own thing. What the fuck even is this, though, Scorpio? So if you're not dating, you're not dating. If you're in a relationship or partnership, you're in a relationship or partnership. Uh, you like the water, but you never get wet. So you spend a lot of time by the water. You like being on the water. But you do not get into the fucking water. You know what I mean? So some of your relationships and partnerships, you might not get too emotionally invested. Not just in anything or anyone, Scorpio. Right? The thing, though, Scorpio, you're a really loving, kind, generous person. That The energy here isn't that you don't love or that you're not able to love. It's just, you know, you like that hermit energy. Your expectations of that are different. You're not sort of, you're not someone that's going to fall the fuck apart if someone don't love them. Right? You have enough sort of love for yourself to keep going. If someone wants to leave, you'll hold the fucking door open. Right? There's really uh, not a whole lot of... Uh, yeah, It's not even sadness on your part, Scorpio. If it don't come easy, if there's no flow to it, if someone doesn't understand you, then, you know, oh well. Someone definitely tried to make you feel something, but that didn't work. Someone definitely put a lot of time, energy, and effort into it, too. I love that. You love the water, but you don't like to get wet. Some of y'all, like, think that shit is nasty, right? So, uh, you could be somewhat of a germaphobe. <laughs> right? Scorpios? You probably like baths. Baths are where you get wet, right? But you're not going into any sort of uh, unknown water because uh, you just don't trust it. There could be a little bit of a germaphobe energy with you. Grandmas, you don't have to face everything alone. Comfort, nurturing, energy, support. I feel like you definitely have your emotions under control. Uh, you have just enough emotional sort of energy there. You have a lot of love. It's like uh, beautiful peace, love, and light energy with you. But you're not an overly emotional person, right? Home. Come back home to yourself. Belonging, celebration, stability. Alien planet. Make yourself at home. Adaptability, change, originality. All we have is now. This is a good sort of grounded, focused energy with you, Scorpio. My, oh my, you have a lot of respect for yourself, a lot of love for yourself. You feel things differently, Scorpio, but you're not like a crying hot mess. You know what I mean? You feel what you feel, and then you kind of go with the flow. You don't uh, ruminate in your energy. Some of y'all, you don't like wet feet. So uh, emotions don't sort of sit within you you definitely work through them healthy sort of grounded energy here uh this is just the way you've always been so scorpio someone could not like the fact that you're not a blubbering fucking mess right because you really have healthy boundaries here you don't like wet feet so you're not going to stay stagnant for long you love the water. You love the emotions. There's a lot of love and energy within you, but you're not a blubbery mess, right? If someone wants to go, you'll hold the door open. Uh, but that's just your energy. That's just your energy. You've always been this way, though. You've always been this way. So you're not a crier, Scorpio. My, oh, my. 
Way too much sort of energy for this, Scorpio. Someone's definitely trying to affect you, but that's, that's not it. That four of cups. <laughs> Did someone think you were just uh, Scorpio? Someone that was going to get heartbroken over something that was shit? Someone definitely put a lot of time and energy into this. So, Scorpio, kind of trust your gut, your guidance, and your intuition on this. You're not going to change. So, Scorpio, if someone tries to come in and sort of make you feel something, yeah, that that's that's not who you are. That's not what you're about. You definitely have healthy boundaries in place. You like the water, but you don't like to get wet. Some of you, there could be that sort of germaphobe energy, right? You may love baths, but you're not you're not getting into any water. Uh-uh. Damn Scorpio. Take what's yours and leave what the fuck is not Scorpios. Uh, obviously, you know that. This is beautiful energy with you. So you're very grounded and focused, Scorpio. Damn Scorpio. So, make smart choices, Scorpio. This could be a sort of jealous energy around you too, Scorpios. If this ain't romantic with you, right? You're just, you just do your own thing. You have very healthy boundaries. Uh, you have a very healthy, positive sort of viewpoint on yourself. Uh, you're very introspective. You make smart choices. You sort of guide your own ship here, uh, Scorpio, right? Damn, you unfazed as fuck, too. I love this for you. Damn, Scorpios. Take what's yours. Leave what the fuck isn't, Scorpio. Uh, whatever this energy is, it doesn't quite work. There's a lot of people wanting your attention, but you're, you don't really give a fuck. <laughs> So, you could be turning down dating opportunities, uh, Scorpio. When you love, you love deeply. It's not that you're incapable of that. But if someone wants to go, you'll hold the fucking door open for them. You know what I mean? Uh, very good. Uh, very good viewpoint of yourself. You definitely hold yourself in high regards. Take what to Scorpio. Leave what the fuck is not. Like, share, subscribe. Ring the bell, Scorpio. <laughs> this is interesting. God bless, Scorpio.